hello beautiful people i hope you guys are doing well today now you guys before i get into it please don't forget to subscribe like and share the video if you have not now you guys me not personally i believe in like when you are aging like especially when you are in your 50s 60s i believe that you are abundantly blessed okay i believe in you resting i believe in you just not involving yourself in lots and lots of drama that is why i believe in marriage so much that you know you just need some wine man when you're grown and just be peaceful but i man i can't say the same thing when it comes to because drama follows him around and it's so sad man it's really really sad now if you have been following the story from yesterday if i'm not mistaken you would know that um allegedly of course he accused his wife of cheating on him with another woman who happens to be latoya mckenna's ex-wife ule bokeswa and after this whole accusations ule bokeswa went wild on twitter you guys where she was literally insulting Oselo Mike and she did not she did not stop there unfortunately she went on and on and on to a point where she even accused the Oselo Mike of cloth cloffing men like what do you mean okay so i'm just gonna read what she said i'm not gonna read everything because she said a lot of things but in one of her tweets she said to protect a man marriage image sell your soul fight with a little sluts take people to court and thrive on how your monetary value can buy the justice system is another level of being sick mama just accept he likes boys and he is kinky and you guys must remember that we are talking about Ulebo who claims to have the best interest of opel ne opel mbewe Salom, i guess i'm wife so if you have the best interest of someone do you now go around insulting their spouse it is not confirmed yet if these people are, con are are divorcing even if they were divorcing you don't have the right to be insulting and revealing their secrets like what do you mean you love that person you don't you are literally doing this for your own cloud i don't know man this is so so crazy like the fact that people don't even care what she revealed but uh, they they are now scared of olebo and believe that olebo was the one who was literally abusing all toya because what the heck like guys what the heck but anyway guys let me know what you guys think about this i will definitely see you on the next one